my name is Yvette Brain and today we are talking about Harmony 24, but more specifically the new features of compositing. So one of the newest features is called port filtering and this, I swear, is insane. Okay, stay tuned. I think this is one of the best new features that Toon Boom has made in a lot of years. So do you sometimes have a node view that is so cluttered and so crazy or a rig that is so big and then like you need to do an effect on the eyes so then as a compositing artist you have two choices. Either you dig in the rig or you use a system where you, you kind of turn your character like black and white to be able to like maybe isolate this but then you need to use color override and it's super heavy like you're trying to isolate just one piece of a rig and it's a fucking nightmare so if this happened to you stay tuned with me like i said the original reflex would have been to make masks to isolate the eyes or try to kind of dig into the node view find the iris and then take a wire and go on a journey trying to like get out of this rig it's like indiana jones trying to escape the traps and try not to trip on another wire and then you're trying to find the, the exit and you, like and then once you do find the exit um you're gonna be fucked because then the eye will not have all the cutting system applied to it then you're gonna have this going on nightmare okay i've been there i get it so did you ever dream of being able to have portals in your node view instead of crazy spaghettis okay so how does it work okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna take something. So here I have my rig, okay? So I'm gonna click on my eye. I'm gonna press O to find it in my node view. This is my, my iris thing here. Then what you wanna do is take a mouse or a trackpad, not your stylus. Mouse or trackpad. Stylus is a bit too sensitive. Sometimes depending on the brand, you're gonna have a hard time. And then you click on the port and you right click. Like you, and then you right click on the port. And it's gonna go here and you're gonna have port names. You're gonna add a name out port. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give a name to your iris. And then in here, um, instead of iris, I'm gonna call this one new iris, just for the sake of the tutorial. I'm gonna press enter, and then voila, you can have new iris, and it's gonna give a name to your drawing. Once this is done, you see, it's like Google map. I found your iris. <laughs> You're gonna get out of your rig. Get out of here. And then right there, if I take a glow node, I just chose a glow node because I felt like it, okay? I'm gonna put the intensity at two just so that we really see what's going on. And the radius to two. And then I'm gonna take this and connect it to my composite right here. Um, and then if I take my character and I make it go through the glow, you're gonna see the whole thing is just shining. What you're gonna do and like, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click on this little port. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to port name. And I'm gonna add a filter to the port. Remember before it was called add a out port name or something? This is add a filter to your port. I'm gonna click there. And then you just choose. You choose new iris. And I shit you not. Look what it's gonna do. Huh? What the fuck? Right? This is insane. This blew my goddamn mind when I saw it, okay? So, how does this work? Like, in easier words, I guess. I imagine that, like, a, like... Because in the past, if you wanted to do that, like, the eye of your character, and then, like, outside of the rig, like, your, your comp or whatever, like, compositing, um, if this was in your rig, you would have need to do, like, crazy spaghettis to just try to get it out. And if you add, like, another thing, like, the, the nose, like same thing, crazy spaghettiing out of group of group of group and put it there. Now all you have to do, like you just go here, you say like, this is gonna be now like called the iris portal and it's gonna like, whoop, like put a little like portal and then you wanna use it in your glow? You wanna use it in your glow? Then all, all you have to do is like, whoop, call here, hi, I wanna call iris portal shit thing. And like, whoop, it's gonna go there. So it's, it's basically, it, 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 it makes it so that you don't need the crazy spaghettis anymore, okay? That being said, this is a tool for compositing. This is not something you should put everywhere in your rig because you don't want to connect cables, right? This, this doesn't get replaced. Like, this is normal. This is, this is good. This is okay. What it's going to replace is you needing to take, like, just the teeth and trying to, like make your way out of the rig and create composites after composites of cutting and masking. Like, this is more for compositing, okay? 
it doesn't mean that you should be making weird system in your rig because you're too lazy to connect no like this doesn't make sense okay so use it smartly of course read the documentations about the port filters because otherwise you're gonna be lost but you see here into my little filter it looks like a diva cup just saying uh, if you click here on your little cup um you're gonna have add or clear so this is to either remove or add more but i don't want to remove it so i'm gonna control z if you go here you have matte mode inverted you have like apply map apply to matte port you have apply effects and all this is gonna make it look different so experiment with this go read the doc because it's very useful and if you want to have more than one piece into the same portal it's so simple you click on the other iris for example i'm gonna go here and then if i go here i click on the port and then i right click port name add name to port and then instead of making a new one you're gonna choose new iris and this is gonna get added if, if you want to put like the tongue in there too be my guest just click on the tongue and make that a new iris i don't know Boom! Now the tongue is glowing as well. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again next week for more tutorials. Goodbye!